Probably. <laughs> Get out of the way. Hi guys, we're Tim and Sandy and of course Pablo. We love traveling around in our 2004 converted Mercedes Sprinter. We are currently discovering what Australia has to offer and would love you to come along and join us. This week we prepare for our exhaust fan that hasn't turned up yet and we install our scooter rack. But with all the issues we've had with it, will we actually take it after all? Welcome to our channel, The Sand Van. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so excited. This has just arrived. It's our plates for our um, scooter for the back of the van. But I'm a little bit anxious because we've left everything, not everything, but we've left a couple of things the last minute before we go to Tassie. So we're waiting on um, the fan or the vent to turn up this week. And it's now Friday at 1.30 in the afternoon. And I'm pretty much standing by this gate. <laughs> waiting for this thing to turn up and hopefully it turns up on time as we've only got this weekend really to install it as Tim is away next week for work. So I am a little bit anxious but I'm glad we got these at least. I waited around as much as I could last night and um, the exhaust fan didn't turn up. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do today, but we have loads of stuff on. Um, I think Tim is going to put the scooter rack on and I think he's gonna rejig the roof. I think that's what his first, uh, first thing he's gonna do this morning is to move the solar panels, but I'll let him explain that to you. I'm just gonna go to headdresses. First off, we need to move the two solar panels at the back. We need to take one of them and we need to put two solar panels at the front. We've got three all together, but we need the space at the back to fit the max air fan. So that means a little bit of rejigging. So let's get to it. Time to measure up. 160 by 160. To redo all this, I need to take out the old, the old nasty steel framing, which is really quite heavy. I'm gonna replace it with some aluminium framing. So that's what I'm measuring up. Um, do some calculations, and then I'm off to Bunnings. Man, I spend so much money here. Really should get a sponsorship from them. The Sandman, sponsored by Bunnings. Now, the aluminium we need is 30 by 30 by 3 mil thick. This should be sufficient to hold the panels in place. And it's angled. Now, we need to get some more. Look at the state of my man. <laughs> this is what it looks like when he actually works. Turns into an old fisherman. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Needs but he's uh, doing a good job up here, I think. I thought the panels were going the opposite way, but I said it doesn't matter, so. Um, so the solar panels actually took most of the day to move um, but we don't have the exhaust fan to put in so tomorrow we'll, we'll just uh, put the scooter rack on which is what we need as well for Tasmania so we'll come back to you tomorrow so I guess you all would remember our to-do list we made well we've completed a couple of things we need to tick off first the diesel heater it's now installed I'll link the video where we did that and even though we haven't found a mounting place for it, we have set up the Pablo cam. So of course, 
brings us to the tow bar and bike carrier. Pablo, <laughs> get out of the way. I move the Pablo, <laughs> stay there. Today, we install a scooter rack. Safety first. Every time we go underneath, I get dust in my eyes. A bit of metal. Yeah. Oh. I just got smacked by this tree. <laughs> first part of the installation is to fit these L brackets. These bolt underneath to the chassis, like so on both sides and then the main tow bar bolts to here. The thing is these aren't very light either. The amount of times I've smashed on the nose or something like that. And my glasses are still out. run backwards so we're doing it again <laughs> are these uh, instructions in English yeah they are in English they're not in Chinese <laughs> oh well I think it's a pretty easy setup anyway so what I got wrong is that I put the longer bolt this side when it has to be this side so that when the ramp sits on here and it goes on with two wing nuts Just gonna check this scooter, see how well it goes. Although, the front wheel is gonna go straight down that hole. Yeah. That's the problem with those stirrups. Ain't gonna work. Bunnings now, as you can see, there's a bar missing here because we actually got a, a motorbike rack, not a scooter rack. So we need to buy an extra bar so the wheels don't actually drop through. <laughs> so we're off to there now. One hour later. Gonna check this scooter, see how well it goes. Well, it's on. The only issue I can see is uh, just this front tire. It, it's not, because it's not made for scooters, it doesn't actually fit into the slot. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. Maybe make a little channel for it to sit in so it doesn't fall out. As the other side is, per well obviously it's perfect. It's just not made for this length of scooter. We've only got one strap on at the moment. Obviously we'd tie down those handlebars, I think, onto the bar and the box will come off at the back, but it, yeah, it moves around, but yeah. Anyway, job done. So how's it going? Well, it doesn't move anymore, it's oh. nice and tight. Oh yeah. It's all been tightened up, we moved it in, adjusted the holes so they fit nice and tight. So I'm just, uh, I've cut this section out here. Oh, and you're going to put a rod in the middle yep. there. So oh, that's sweet. In there when I made that hole bigger. Yep. And then hopefully, should just sit on there nice. Just going to check this scooter, see how well it goes.
That sits better. That sits much better, doesn't it? That way then. It doesn't quite stick out as much. And it doesn't it? stick out as much. That's I don't the think. way it's meant to sit. Yeah, I think so. But I'm still not liking it for some reason. Do we even take the scooter along? Because this is a nightmare. We can't even open the doors because we've got to take all the straps off and have a big hoo-ha. And I don't know. It's a bit of a mission. What I don't know what done? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. This is It looks good on there. It, lo it looks good, but I don't, I don't, I, it's just a big faff. So yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> See what I have to work with. Tell me to jump okay. in real quick. <laughs> well, we have the scooter on the back as we, as we showed you, but it's such a faff, like, Trying to get the scooter on, trying it's to get the straps on. So, you, can, you can see why the RVs that don't have a back door have them on the back. Yeah. Or on the front of the buses. Or anywhere else. Driving anywhere in them. <laughs> but on the back of a sprinter. We need a swing away carrier. We do, but. And they... that's another thousand dollars. And we're not sure if that's going to be worthwhile. We could get that and then still not like it. Yeah, I'm. So. I'm just not liking it. Uh, I'd rather spend a thousand dollars on an electric scooter than a <laughs> than a swing. We're going to sleep on it. Let's not let's not jump ahead. But um, we're going to sleep on this and have a think. Um, yeah, but I'm thinking there's an, a, there might be an alternative get around a vehicle in Tassie. But anyway, stick around to find out. Please subscribe and uh, follow us on our Tassie tour. Yeah, definitely please subscribe because we need the money to go buy a new scooter. Please help us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will see you. We post every Saturday at 7am. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.